sidekick who was funnier than me, so I was like the straight guy. And we had Jack Albert, and he was a funny, funny guy. Big guy, a big guy. And while we were together, he lost a front tooth. So he was really a radio guy, because you would not want to see this guy's face. It was the ugliest face you would ever want to meet, especially with a missing front tooth. But uh, yeah, that was probably one of my fun jobs, is uh, being on the radio with Jack Albert for, for a year or so. And that was really, really cool. But uh, yeah, but here you can you can get away with more stuff because you don't have any advertisers to offend. We, we were doing doing this small market radio, and uh, one of the advertisers was actually the city. Can you believe a city was one of your advertisers? I mean, it shows you how small the market is that the sales guys had to go out and sell advertising to the city. So we were doing a bit that we had to f rains one summer and like they were flooding the streets and then the city had just paid millions of dollars to fix all their sewers and make all their streets real fancy through the downtown and here a little bit of rain was flooding the streets so we're you know we're making like fun of the of the city's uh, planning department for screwing up our uh, our beautiful city and just you know just you know hitting slapping them back and forth across the face and then we get a we get a, a call from uh, from the from the owner of the station later in the day calling us into his uh, second floor penthouse office saying uh, what in the world were you guys doing this morning? We had a call from the city and they are not happy campers. The city canceled all of their advertising. Can you believe that? The city canceled their radio advertising because we were making fun of the city planning department. So unbelievable what happens in these small little markets. And so so Jack, as the as the morning guy, had to go over to the city officials and apologize for what we said on the radio about the flooding streets. So then our salespeople were happy because they finally got their uh, advertisers back from the city. So just an unbelievable uh, experience with uh, with advertisers. And then, then I had, then I got fired because um, I was basically uh, shooting down one of our major industries in town, which was a sugar company. It's like one of the major sugar producing uh, companies in the world, uh, certainly in the United States, and they own the whole town, including the land where the radio station tower was. So here, I'm doing bits about the uh, the, the company, uh, <laughs> the town's. Uh, biggest company biggest employer and uh, so here the boss calls me up to the second floor uh, luxury suite and says uh, what in the world have you been saying about the sugar company and I says we're just doing bits about you know the company what's the big deal you know it's all fun we're just doing radio here he says well you know we're trying to move our uh, antenna to another location for a better signal you know who owns that land we're trying to put our antenna on that's the sugar company, you idiot. What in the world are you guys thinking? You think we're going to play around with you guys when we're trying to move our antenna to a new location? What's the matter with you clowns? You guys better straighten up or you're out of here. And so uh, so we, we didn't stop and we got fired. Well, at least I got fired because I was just the news guy and the sidekick. So, you know, I was expendable. But I think he had a contract with Jack, so he couldn't get rid of Jack for a little more longer. And then he finally got rid of Jack. But that was a fun job. Fun, fun, fun job. So anyway, so you know how that goes, DJ. So anyway, what do we got going here? Got a few viewers. A few... Sheila, Sheila Buffet, do you sing? Do you sing like down in down in Key West? You could be the Mrs. Buffet, or maybe you're the rich buffet, and you have all the big stock that costs like seven to seventy thousand dollars a share. Which buffet are you, Sheila? You're hopping. Don't hop yet. You just hopped over here. You got to stay around and entertain these people. Come on. Where are you from? Let me see if my magic map can can see see where you at. Okay, let's see here. I don't think I can tell where Sheila is. Hey, okay, DJ, thanks a lot for stopping in. And 
make sure you guys vote if you like me and if you don't like me vote for me anyway so just click on the little link and vote on the top broadcaster and keep me in the number eight eight or nine spot and appreciate it and that means you too demi i gotta keep on you for voting you gotta vote 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 you can vote once every five hours and if you vote more often than that you don't get counted so it's the american way vote often but not more than every five hours and let's see seems like somebody's trying to get me on skype but i'm not sure what's going on okay let me look at skype here okay this is a chat from uh, bse i don't know why we do chat on bse when you can do chat here on justin tv well, let's see see what b bse says bse's got a soccer ball this is a uh, soccer ball is his little icon so he must be a soccer guy the american way is to vote then have someone totally throw all the votes out. You got that right, Chalita Buffet. You got that right. Absolutely. All right, BSE. Okay, I'm going to tell BSE that I'm on Justin TV. So maybe they can come over here and visit us like all the mad men that are here already. Okay, all right, DJ, we'll catch you all later. And, hey, let's see. Demi, what's that? Okay. Okay, you got the, Demi's got her little voting thing on there. So you can visit Demi. We're trying to get her to get her camera on more often. And then you can vote for Demi, Demi Taylor 27, from Birmingham, England. Birmingham, England, where it's about 2.10 in the p.m. Or 14.10, as they say in Europe. 14.10. 14.10. Should be a song like that. 14.10. 14.10. Okay. Uh, okay. What? What do you do? Okay, do, 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 do. Anthony's on the chat. Yeah, these sometimes these Skype things get a little out of control. And we also got Mausoleum, Mausoleum 20. I think that's a porn site. Yeah, that's one where they show the lady and try to sell you something. And, okay, we'll close that one down. And all right, okay, let's see what JTV notifier is telling me. Okay, I've been favorited by several people. Got our usual Jack B invitation. Jack B from Great Britain drives me crazy, man, because he like, tries to promote all these shows. And I get a zillion messages a day from Jack B. I think he's like 13 years old. And uh, Doc's in here. Doc from NYC Live. The radiologist, so if you ever need to learn about your radio, she is the person to see. Hey, Doc, what's going on? It looks like he slept in a little later than normal here. He slept in once again. Of course, you don't have any classes to teach today. You don't have any people to radiologize. Or do you radiologize on the weekends? Like... Can you get like an emergency call? Somebody says, I got, uh, I, I just swallowed a banana and I need to check this out. It's so not on call. So I guess some days you're on call. Who's Nora's boyfriend? I have no clue. I don't even know who Nora is. Tell me. Sheila, Chalita. What are you talking about? Yes, our favorite. Ah, uh, Jacob works for JTV. Ah, okay. Designs the websites. Okay, looks like somebody's star is just shown brightly over, uh, I think it was uh, Durham, North Carolina. Somebody join us from Durham. Or Durham, home of Big Tobacco. 